What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, gangster music! Now, guys, I've heard of a lot of jokes in my life. I mean, stop the show. I've seen some of y'all credit reports, and that's absolutely funny. But you know what? President Joe Biden, who, you know, I, I knew he was going to be a joke just from the crime bill from the 90s and really how he feels about African-Americans. But this is a slap in the face. And, you know, like I said, I used to have a lot of respect for ADOS. Um, and to a degree, I still do. But when Tone Talks told black people to vote Democrat down the ballot, absolutely I was done with the conversation. And Yvette Carnell, I had nothing more to say to them or hear about, even though I respect some of the points. But when they said that, I was done. Okay, and I think a lot of people were done, which is why a lot of folks moved over to the FBA. But anyways, you know, Joe Biden is not concerned about reparations. He's not concerned about what's going on in your community. But what he wants to do is he wants to give $30 million to underserved communities and stop the show. Who are the underserved communities that deal a lot in crack cocaine? Well, I can tell you that almost 95% of those are African-American, which is interesting because this is what they locked black people up for. OK, especially Democrats. Right. You know, we're going to throw the book at you, especially in California. You get you get football numbers for, you know, crack cocaine. But what he wants to do is he wants to give out 30 million dollar plan to hand out crack pipes to drug addicts as part as part of its harm reduction plan. Give him a round of applause, Dima. <laughs> Celebration music, please keep me dancing in the background. That's really nice. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe is going to give. 90% of those crack pipes to black people who are suffering with drugs so they can have a clean smoke session, just getting high as shit. All right. Now, I want, I want African Americans to really understand this. And what happens when you do not have an agenda in our community and when you do not lift your people up? I'm going to tell you this. You're not going to like it because I got to be real. It is our responsibility as African-Americans, descendants of slaves, you want to say that, FBA, it is our job to clean our people up. The government does not want to clean our people up. The government, especially the liberals, want our people to continue in the foolishness that, we're, that we've, been, we've been doing, some of us. All right? It's clear as day. We want to give you guys more money to smoke more crack in a clean way. Instead of saying, what can we do as a community to stop crack addicts from evolving? What can we do in the community that stops women from becoming single mothers? Everything that's detrimental to underserved communities, they're going to support it. Oh, you don't want to have your man in the house? Oh, you want to have single? You want to be a, 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 a single parent? You want to have children? We can support that. That's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you money for that. You want to continue to smoke and crack? Yeah, let's get a, a, a better way to keep your people on those drugs. And they're not going to come out and give solutions to your people for people to evolve. People like Stacey Abrams. You guys talk a lot about the immigration things that are going on in the, in the black world. I don't get it because so many people in ADOS are Democrats. Yet you're talking about how you don't like these immigrants coming over here. Largely African immigrants because they're not down with the calls. Well, obviously, if you vote Democrat. You're not down with the crawls, right? I mean, think about it. Everything you're seeing for immigration that comes into the country, you're fighting against the rights you're talking about because you're voting Democrat. You're voting down the ballot. So how are you going to get reparations when you're voting for people to replace you? See, you see how dumb that is? But see, that's how foolish ADOS is. You see that? And then you want to get mad at what you get. How are you going to be mad when it's your fault? Black people have to stop believing that people are going to have more interest in you than you have in yourselves. Other groups are concerned with cleaning their people up more so than we are. Not saying that our people haven't been through a lot because we have, and I respect the willpower of the African-American community, but enough's enough. We have to look at saying it's our job to get our people cleaned up. Everybody in our community has to say it is our responsibility. It's not white responsibility. Even though they may have caused it, it's not Hispanics, it's ours. Because if we keep depending on these governments, they're going to keep us dying. They're going to keep us suffering. They're going to keep embarrassing us and embarrassing our people. 
Because if you want to give $30 million to promote racial equality, you can promote $30 million if you want to give scholarships away. What about um, underserved communities that need skilled trades? Because, see, we can get those people off of drugs and into the economy. That's not what he's trying to do. See, they got, and they got all kind of money to make black folk look foolish. And we got to understand that's the trick of the enemy. But see, when we're wasting our time not focused on that and running our mouths and complaining about the issues, we're not active, being active in, 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 in attacking it. We, we, can, we can stick to the, I, we, 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 built, we built this country. Let me ask you this. For those who have the argument, I don't disagree with you. Are they treating you like you're somebody who built this country? Will they give $30 million to their people to promote crack pipes for racial equality? Will they do that? No, because you built this country. Look how they treat you. Okay. But it's your responsibility to clean your people up. I don't care who's responsible for our people being the way they are. It's our responsibility to clean our people up. It's our responsibility to solve single motherhood. It's our responsibility to bring black men and black women together. It's our responsibility to mentor our children. It's not theirs. Because when we make it their responsibility, look how they treat us. And then we want to get upset. Then you want to talk about reparations. How are you going to get reparations when you're getting $30 million? In credit? Obviously, they don't respect you. How do you get reparations from people that don't even respect you? Like, I would feel bad arguing with an immigrant about this is our country and that these people are offering my group. $30 million in crack pipes. Like, think about if your immigrant, if your immigrant reads this, what what would you say to African American? You would feel like, bro, this is how y'all, this, this, this is how they feel about y'all? And you arguing with me? Yeah, I can't, it's hard to say anything when you see this. Because this is a joke. Our people cannot continue to vote Democrat and then not come to the agendas. Where is our agenda at? I, I understand we have little roast wars with other groups. We have roast wars in the immigrant community. I get it. Their disrespect coming from us. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fire back. I get it. I'll fire back. I fire back off camera sometimes. Okay. Not gonna sit here and cap. Where is our agenda? What is the plan for our best? How do we pull up our worst to become our best? And how do we fund those things? Those are conversations that we are getting away from. We are not attacking those conversations. And when we don't, they give us crack pipes. This is how they treat your people when you don't treat yourself with the respect that your people deserve. Our people fought too hard. This is Black History Month. They give you $30 million in cracks in Black History Month to promote racial equality. Is crack pipes what we need for racial equality? Even white conservatives are, are killing Joe Biden for this. Not that they care, but he's just dumb. But we are dumb for even voting for him in the first place. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. Oh, 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 oh,